Today we're just going to have a look at one of our trials that we've been conducting for our hydroponic lettuce project. You can see here that we've got 50 different channels running individually into different tanks. Put a number of treatments in there including a biological control treatment with the bacterium Bacillus subtilis. If you come and have a look over here I'll take you a little bit closer into one of the replications. Over on the end here we've got no pathogen present and the pump's been running continuously. And you can see along here we've got eight different treatments which have different permutations of with the Phytophthora, the, the particular water mold pathogen we're using, and in this case with the pump on. In this case Phytophthora, including this product Fullzyme Plus, which has got the Bacillus subtilis bacterium, which is the thing we're testing for its biological control potential. And some of these other treatments where we've turned the pump off for a day and a half to simulate some of the sort of stresses that you might get where there's been a breakdown or variously other problems that can occur on farm. Now we'll have a little bit closer look at some of these treatments. These first two treatments are really a good one to compare because the one on the end here doesn't have the Phytophthora and the next one does and you can see quite clearly in the amount of wilting uh, in these plants the difference in growth and let's have a look now at the difference in the root development and you can see quite clearly there that the one on your right has beautiful clean roots and the one on the left the roots are quite brown and they're rotting and the, obviously the plants wilting away as well. Now let's just look at what happens when we've added the product Fullzyme in the presence of Phytophthora. That's comparing this channel here where we've got Phytophthora on its own and this channel here where the Phytophthora and the Fullzyme are added with the pump being left on continuously. And I'll just lift a couple of plants up here and you can see now the contrast between those two channels, the one on your left, the presence of Fullzyme, it seems to be protecting the plant from disease and you can see they're a lovely big plant in contrast to this wilting plant with the Phytophthora on its own. In the next couple of channels we can do some more comparisons. You can see here that uh, we can compare with Phytophthora and Fullzyme together uh, in this case where the pump has been turned off for a period of time and this one where it's been left on. There's not a huge growth difference and again the Fullzyme is giving protection in both of these treatments. Where the pump has been left off for a little bit of a, a time, a day and a half, you can see there are a few brown roots. Finally when we look at this treatment over here, this is without the pathogen and the pump being turned off. You can see it's reasonably similar in growth uh, to where the pathogen is or isn't. So there's a growth retardation there from having the pump turned off for a period of time. So probably the worst treatment of the lot, and we'll certainly be able to confirm this once we weigh all these plants at harvest time. This is where we have the pathogen and we've turned the water off for a day and a half. So that's in, impacted again and you can see these plants won't be marketable. They've got very poor root systems and during the day when it warms up in here they're really struggling to survive. Where the pathogen was not present but we did turn the water off you can see there's a bit of damage there but these roots are recovering so there was the stress from turning the water off and uh, the plants themselves will probably come through it okay. So that just tells you how important it is if you've got the pathogen present you'll get this strong interaction where the disease will manifest. Where it's not present, plants can withstand some sort of uh, stress and come back again. And you'll still get a marketable plant out of it. So you can see from this trial, and um, you can see the same sorts of things appearing right across in the other three replicates, that in the presence of Phytophthora, the Fullzyme is able to protect the plants. We're getting a good strong plant development, good strong roots and uh, just comparing that with something like this where the plants aren't probably that bad but you can feel the softness in the leaf, they're being stressed, look at the roots and you can see lots of browning there. So that plant is obviously affected by Phytophthora 